If you're unwilling to let go, then don't let anyone option your book, uh, because you have to. And, uh, and if you're going to stress about exactly what, what your baby will be made to do, uh, then don't sell your book in the first place. So um, for that reason, it was relatively easy for me, because I didn't worry about it. Plus, when the Wachowskis are optioning your book with Tom Tick for the great German director, um, you can trust them. I think uh, everybody did a great job. It's an amazing, doesn't matter how faithful to the book it is because it became its own thing yeah. in a way. Yeah, just so, no? just so. Uh, how much is this a story of uh, the human condition regardless of race, ethnic, or, uh, you know, ethnicity, sexual orientation, historical period in which we live? It's uh, a good question, and I feel that um, it is a, a story of the, hum uh, of the human condition, not in spite of these things, but because of them. Uh, I tried to put as much diversity uh, through ethnicity, through time periods, gender, nationalities into the book as I could to show uh, the, universal, uh, the universality of what is happening to the characters. It's not just one time, place or location. This is a constant story that's being retold through time. Have uh, the fact that you travel a lot when you were a kid, you lived in several places, mm, mm. right? Like Sicily or Japan or yeah, yeah, New yeah. York. Uh, do, you, do you think all those experiences make you more open to explore the world as uh, something different than if you were all limited in a small town or the different? I think this is true. Um, of course, it's also true that perhaps I had a predisposition for wanderlust. Perhaps I, I just have the wanderlust gene. Uh, that that uh, made me want to do this in the first place. Um, of course, you have great writers like Emily Dickinson, the American poet, who, who famous. She not only never left her own village towards the end of her life, she never left her house or even her room. Yet she still writes about eternity and infinity. Uh, so uh, the great thing about the arts is that it's, it's impossible to generalise. But um, when you're in your 20s as a writer, that's when you fill the reservoir of inside your mind, which you will then draw from l later on in life when, you're, when you have other responsibilities and you're less able just to treat the world like a big board game and throw the dice and move from square to square. How does it feel seeing uh, the, the characters you wrote represented by this uh, big Hollywood actors or international actors, not Hollywood necessarily? Uh, Sometimes I have to pinch myself to make sure that I'm not asleep. And where are my pajamas? I should be asleep watching this. This is Tom Hanks acting a character I wrote. As you can see, I'm grinning like a Cheshire cat. Uh, there is a big kind of gleeful wow that this is happening. Uh, then you get beyond that, and you just look at the skill that they've brought to the roles, and you. It's a little bit humbling to watch someone else find things in what I thought was my character that I hadn't noticed and I hadn't put there. And they emphasized them and used them and used these to make uh, the narrative flow better. That's a bit humbling uh, I, 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 and it raises my estimation of what an actor is and what an actor can do. And the uh, Wachowski siblings? And Tom, yeah. what do you think of their collaboration and uh, how involved were you with the project? Um, well, they were the three musketeers and I was very much the, the uh, extra late coming d'Artagnan right at the end. Uh, I, I didn't do, uh, I, I don't think I was as useful to the story of the film as d'Artagnan was. Um, uh, it sometimes feels like dealing with one intelligence that has three heads. Uh, they have an uncanny telepathic connection with one another artistically, yet they're different enough for that to work as well. Now, it's, uh, most films that have three directors would be in trouble, but because this is set in six different worlds, actually the differences that, that they can bring to each um, world, just in their vocabulary and grammar of filmmaking, actually help uh, help the whole project rather than hinder it. Uh, it was a pleasure to watch them and a pleasure to be around them. Um, I didn't write the screenplay, they don't need me, they're great writers. Uh, they were gracious enough to show me a version of it towards the end and I was very impressed with what I saw and uh, it's just been a joy spending time with them.